Sneaker fam, what's going on? Your boy Jake back with another Real versus Fake review. Um, these are the Kobe 4 Pro Tro Black Mambas. Mamba time, Mamba season. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Of course, this is the retail pair uh, directly from the Sneakers app. This is the replicated pair uh, shipped directly from China. I'm letting you guys know this is part one. There is a part two coming. It's the first pair. I do have a pair from some other supplier and I'm gonna say it now it is different got them both on hand so of course taking taking the shoes out you guys already see it this looks like an older version this is like the like the older older version you can look at that label um something ain't right about this one you know what I mean it has the scales on it and everything. Box is a whole lot smaller. Like I said, uh, legit checking purposes. So, yeah, something's definitely up with this pair here. Um, <clears throat> I do ask for the latest and greatest version. You can only go uh, take their word for it. <laughs> you can only take their word for it. If they say you're gonna, they're going to send you the updated pair, or the, the latest version, you take their word that they're going to send you the latest version. So, unfortunately, uh, this is this does not. Um, this is nice. Uh, we got the Kobe poster here. Let's pull these bad boys out. Also, again, extra laces with these. Hold on. All right, we're going to pull them out. Let's take a look. These feel very light. Um, let's take a look at this Kobe post. I think that's a kind gesture. Here we go. So we got 96, 97, 2000, 2001, 2000, 2008, 2009, 14. All right, all his accolades. Nice poster. Sweet. Box with the scales on it. All right. This feels weird. All right. So here we go. So we do the stare down. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. The whole construct of the shoe is, is all wrong. What's this sticking on the inside? What's this? This one has a little bit. That's that's a little funky. What's that production date? You got this one made in NOM. So they all made in NOM. See this one here. You got the Kobe's made in NOM. I mean, the toe is wrong. The whole look is just wrong. The midsole pattern. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't. This one I can't, man. I mean, this one's bad. This one's disappointing. This doesn't even look like a size 12. This looks like a, a 10 and a half, 11 to be exact. Um, it, this is tough for me. Like, even the material, um, the snakeskin pattern. I mean, it does have... Uh, Man, I hate when I, you know, when you get something like this, you just see the texture on this one is just oodles and oodles better on it. And um, uh, this one, uh, I, they dropped the ball on this version. And please, people, I am completely aware there's another version and I do have it. So just this is part two. This is part one and just wait for part two. We're just going to take a look at the back. You guys will be the judge. It's the fake. It's the retail. You know what I mean? Uh, this one here, I'm probably going to throw to my son. Um, hopefully, he'll grow into him. <sighs> Got the extra set of laces on him. So, um, I, I'm not going to keep this video long. I'm just like, you know, when I get a shoe like this, and I, I, I just lose interest, you know, because 
um, the quality, the construct and everything is just not good. So it's just, you know, it's bothersome because not even the shape of the shoe is wrong. So, yeah. Yeah, this looks like a low quality um, mid tier to low tier um, replica, fake, whatever you want to call it. Um, so um, I'm just going to weigh them see what's going on here there's really there's really nothing to look at what's what's there to compare it? it's like they're completely different shoes it's like even nothing close we got a pound 0.5 ounces this is 14 ounces so i like these things uh with the laces 15 ounces One pound. One pound. Probably gonna be one of the shortest real versus fake reviews I've ever done. Uh, I'm so I'm so disappointed in the shoe. So disappointed in the shoe. Ah. So let me go ahead. We won't turn off these lights. Click. Ah. So we go here. Right, let's take a look at the Fugazi here. So maybe it's, all right, you can see the blue coming out of the holes, the carbon fiber. If could be a plastic shank, not even carbon fiber. Ah! <laughs> Take a look behind the tongue here. Um, can't see much. Like you see here, there's no blue blowing out anywhere, just around. You see the glue uh, on the edges of the carbon fiber shank. And um, that's all you see there. Let's take a look at the second shoe. Same thing, you see the blue coming out of the holes, the holes, and that toe is just so wrong on it. Get the 24 in the back. I really think these shoes are not even a 12. They look like a 10. I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. All right, turn these lights back on. So this is all I have to say. You guys stay tuned for part two. Um, I'm sorry to waste your time. This is a horrid shoe. So um, I would call this a, a mid to low tier AAA shoe. Um, not good at all. Um, I don't even think the other, the original Pro Tros look like that. If it, if it does, you Kobe fans that have all the Pro Tros, if you have the original one. Matter of fact, let me see this production date. Did they update the production date? See, they didn't. See? 12 18 18 to 4 2 19. So this is the older version. And that's what was given to me. You can tell from the box label and everything. Completely wrong shoe for this comparison. I'm gonna tell you now, this happened to me the first time with the Kobe Grinch. Kobe Grinch um, supplier sent me the wrong version where this one here is 2023 524 23 and we got 8 11 23 see there you have it don't send me this old stuff man i'm gonna call it out man uh like comment share subscribe it's your boy jake signing out appreciate you guys peace